Hello, Aquarius. All right, we're going to do a reading um, about your person today, just whomever you're thinking about while you watch this video. Okay, soulmate, twin flame, whatever you resonate with is the person you're thinking about while you're watching this video. What do you need to know? What messages do you need to know? What energy is going on? What's up, right? All right, Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, that bumps me up in that algorithm, especially the, the liking the video and the commenting, right? Um, also, if you would like to be eligible to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. You're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below. Hashtag relationship. Okay. If you want to book a personal reading, all that information is below in the description box. All right. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. So check your uh, other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, especially Venus. That's where we, um, it's how we present in relationships. If you don't know those, you can look in the description box below for a link to Cafe Astrology. They'll tell you how to do it. Just plug your information in and it's free. All right. So check those other placements. Cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. Um, there is no gender in tarot. You on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip it around. And a lot of times we'll get a mix of both energies. Okay. All right. I've been recording all day in like a tank top and now I'm freezing because the sun is on the other side of the house now. So I'm wearing a, a sweater and a tank top. It's fine. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. King of Wands. All right. Could be dealing with a fire sign, but you don't have to be. But you could be. Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Got plenty of fire energy going on here. We also have uh, the Hanged Man and the Three of Cups. Pisces energy there with that hanged man. We have the seven of swords and the five of pentacles and the nine of wands and the six of swords with that king of wands on the bottom of the deck. So we've got Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Let's figure it out. So what's going on? It's Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. Who's this Queen of Wands for Aquarius? What is going on? What's going on? Queen of Wands. Who is this? The Three of Cups. I feel like there's somebody from your past that you want to reconcile with, that you would be excited to, to meet again. You may even just meet them at a at like an outing, at like, you know, you're out in public somewhere this this summer. And you see them and you're like, wow, I haven't seen you and blah, blah, blah. It's somebody that's very attractive, the world. There could be some travel involved here. Like maybe this is a reunion or a wedding or something where you're, there's something going on that you're, you're seeing this person after a long, you know, long amount of time has gone by and there's like a scheduled event or something, but it doesn't have to be. But this is somebody that you already know with the six of cups, like somebody in your class or somebody from your neighborhood or somebody you grew up with or somebody, you, you know, just that you've known. I mean, it could be a past relationship. That certainly could be it, but it doesn't have to be. The hanged man, you see this person entirely different. Now. It's like, you know, they're not that young or <laughs> none of us are young anymore. Right. But like, it's like the last time you saw this person, they just were different. They were a different person. And now they, you're looking at them through a whole different pair of eyes, the moon, cancer, Pisces energy. Yeah, there's like um, a lot more depth to this person now that they're now that you're looking at them through these eyes. Got some Pisces energy going on here. Got the hanged man twice. But um, you're like, wow, that's interesting because I never saw this person that way before or in that light before. or I never looked at him that way or whatever. But you're pretty drawn to them. But also, you know, the universe has brought you together, the world and the moon. You know, the moon is controls the, 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 the tides and everything. I mean, it's like this gravitational pull. Ten of wands. What is this ten of wands for Aquarius? The emperor. Aquarius, you could have, you could be coming out of um, a pretty burdensome relationship, maybe even a marriage, but you know, you, you've just been kind of very goal oriented recently. You're just trying to, you know, it's like, you're just trying to manage this, these tasks, the things that you have to do. 
I feel like somebody in this in this energy makes pretty good money. This emperor is, you know, a money maker. They're a leader, a boss, the head of the household. They may have even been carrying weight for the entire household or for another adult or something like that for a long time. Nine of swords. And it's weighed on them really heavily. And this could certainly be you too, Aquarius. King of Pentacles. I do feel like whatever is going on, um, this masculine energy has just come out of a relationship, maybe even a marriage. Like they kind of went from the emperor to the king of pentacles. They're not, you know, they're very financially stable, but they were just in this situation for a long time where they had to make all the decisions and pay all the bills and do all the things. And now they're just manifesting kind of, um, uh, uneventful life. They just want to live their life, you know, go to work, make their money, be comfortable, be secure. Um, and they're manifesting that they're manifesting like, you know, no drama, no problems, no issues. They just want to live their life justice, potentially after a divorce. Yeah, they're just manifesting justice balance. We have this four of wands. I do. I think this person was married. You could meet them at a wedding. That could certainly happen. The fool. Like maybe this person goes to a wedding without a date just because, just because, All right? Queen of Cups. Somebody's going to fall pretty quick for whoever this is, this water energy in this equation. I do feel like there is a water energy in this equation or somebody in the energy of that Queen of Cups. Knight of Wands. There's going to be like an immediate spark, immediate chemistry between the two of you. That maybe you never, we have the King of Cups here. Yeah. It's just going to be like an immediate, you know, immediate chemistry. The Four of Cups. They're going to see you as so interesting. Like every, every other relationship that they've had is going to dull in comparison to this, to the passion, to the passion and the chemistry that this connection is going to have. I like it. So again, we have this hanged man and the three of cups, this three of cups. I'm telling you guys, I feel like you guys are going to meet when you're out at an event, at a party, at a graduation, at a wedding, at, a, at some kind of a reception or a, or a something, a reunion or a, I mean, just something. And it might not be that way for both of you. It may only be that way for one of you, or maybe you're just at a place where there are a lot of people. The Hanged Man, the Queen of Swords. This person might be um, afraid to talk to you, Aquarius, because they're like, man, I don't want to get shot down. <laughs> the Five of Cups. They may be, you know, fresh out of this situation where they're coming in, you know, coming out of a divorce or whatever. And they're just like, I, I don't want to be rejected right now. But I don't, I don't see that as the case. But I do see you guys talking and having a good time. And, you know, maybe even having a few drinks or whatever. You don't have to be, but this is just some kind of like in the community, in the public eye, five of wands. There's going to be people watching. There's going to be people paying attention. This is that peanut gallery energy. They're going to be like, what are they doing over there? They've been talking to each other all night. What's going on? That's okay. Let them talk. The chariot. I do feel like there's a travel component here, or maybe y'all going to leave in one car when you came in too. Just saying. Seven of Swords. I almost feel like this is that walk of shame. Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. How do I get out of this situation? Where nobody will see me and nobody will notice me and they'll all just think that I've been alone this whole time. Page of Swords. You can't get away. People are watching. People are seeing you interact. They're watching. You can't get away from it. You can't be sneaky. They see you. The Empress. This Emperor is going to light up in your energy, right? They were just trying to get demoted to be un unresponsible for some of the, their responses. But this is an Emperor. This is a divine counterpart situation. They are going to just light up. Five of Pentacles. Neither one of you really want to be rejected right now or want, want something to not work. But I just feel like you guys are not going to be able to help it death card there. Yeah, the hermit and the five of pentacles. 
you guys are both kind of going out on a limb here and nobody wants to be rejected. Um, but I feel like the chemistry here is so strong that there's nothing you can do about it. The Knight of Pentacles. You are both are in this energy of, I just want somebody to be who they say they're going to be and do what they say they're going to do. That Knight of Pentacles is very reliable. And, and that's, that's the energy that you're going to get, right? This Nine of Wands, neither one of you want to get burned right now, but I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to help it. The Nine of Pentacles. So two nines, you guys are kind of coming out of a cycle in the same energy. You're both single. You've both been a little bit, you know, beat up in the past before, if it, you know, in relationships or love or whatever. Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Be patient. The universe is working on this. There's a transformation going on here. And the Six of Swords. Again, there could be some a travel component. And again, that I don't, you know, maybe nobody will notice if we sneak out together. They noticed. They saw. The tower. It's going to be a life-changing event. This person, when you meet this person, when you re-meet this person, whatever it is, it's going to be, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good tower moment though. It's going to be like, I, I just didn't ever think that a relationship could be like this. And the Knight of Wands, maybe never looked at this person um, from this angle, right? But this is a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot of water, a lot of just very tempering this energy. Yeah, this King of Wands and Justice. So this person may very well have been just coming out of, of a divorce or some kind of, of, of something contractual, ending a cycle, right? They are open to love with the lover's card there. They're just actively pursuing um, stability right now. But I think that's what you're actively pursuing also, right? Um, learning how to manifest or learning what a powerful manifester you are, I feel like, is what's going on here. You saw it, but I also think this could be like a class reunion that you meet this person, right? Keep an eye on each other. And everybody is watching you too. You guys are trying not to make any sudden moves. You're like, if we just stand here very quietly, maybe no one will notice. They all noticed. The second you guys stood up to leave together, everybody went, where are they going? All right. All right, Aquarius. That's what I got for you. This is a fun one. I like this energy for you. I think it's, I think it's good juju. So um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. In the comment section down below, hashtag relationship. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I'm sending you tons of love and light until next time.